Hello, my name is James Bellissimo, I'm the Berwick Town Manager, and I'm here today to provide a progress report on the Dig a Hole Once initiative, also known as DAHO. And what digging a hole once means is doing the needed infrastructure projects in a sequence and planned way so we don't have to dig up a project in the near future to install something else. So what that includes, it's the underground utilities, it's the it's the cable wires you see, it's the electric downtown cable internet. That also includes everything else that's underground, the water, the sewer, the, the storm water, and it includes the road, road base, paving, top coats, street trees, ornamental lights, benches. Really, that's when you get to the fun stuff. Curb extension, planters, public art, bike parking, as I mentioned, ornamental lighting. It's where the aesthetics and functionality really come together to provide the amenities that you typically see in an awesome downtown in Village Center. So we have, as a general overview, as a working concept from the Malone and McBroom study, it shows a series of recommendations, and some of them we've already uh, taken those con conceptual renderings and turn them into engineer drawings. So you see with our CAX project that we used. Other areas will need more um, review and just a little bit more engineering to get the exact concept we want down right. We took a look at uh, converting some of our one-way streets into two-way streets, which is generally a good practice. You see downtowns doing that. At this point, we're not proposing anything like that. I think with our unique downtown area and the way the uses work, the overall traffic pattern and circulation works well, and we are aware of some changes through the plans that we can make, just make improvements of, of what we already have. So overall, there's a few different ways to, to break up the projects. Um, there's nine core projects around the edge site, and, um, and with the dig a hole once, um, projects, we've identified 15 projects overall. One of the first projects is the underground utilities. And what we can do is uh, the, the main power line comes from Sawmill Hill. And we can underground that under School Street and provide electric service to the buildings on Back Street. And soon after we do that, what we can do is there's a rat's nest of all these old and new electric and uh, cable wires. That ball can go away. And almost every pole on Sullivan Street can go away, uh, go away as well. And we can back feed on some of the existing services. So pretty quickly in the next, probably by 2024, we're hoping to bring projects together to be able to get the power lines gone on Sullivan Street and possibly School Street. And to go along with a project we're working on in 2023 is a downtown drainage project where the during the edge construction, they upsized a stormwater pipe from 48 inches to 60 inches. And what this does, it's, it's gonna be able to help us handle the stormwater flows well into the future. We've had a few instances in the past five to seven, eight years where water is backed up on Wilson Street. This project will, uh, along with what the, uh, the folks at the edge has done, will solve that issue. We have a lot of water that comes up from Pine Hill. We have a, a stream that diverts there. It'll help us with stormwater capacity in that specific area. There are other areas that will need work that are different subsections of the stormwater system that have different flows and different issues, but we'll be addressing those over time. So the key for this dig a hole once is to coordinate these projects. We need to coordinate with the edge. We need to coordinate with our engineers, with Comcast, with Consolidated Communications, and with CMP. You know, so we've been doing that over the past two years or so, meeting together, coming together with these plans, because once we're doing the downtown drainage project, we'll be able to add in some underground utility infrastructure this year. And then with the CAX project, 
that's scheduled for 2024. Once that area is being addressed, we'll be able to feed in all the underground utilities for that part of it. So we only have to dig it up once and, and really just make use of once the, the road's dug up to be able to do the work and, and get it done as, as uh, you know, efficiently as possible. So again, the drainage project, it's a 60 inch pipe that gets to the Salmon Falls River and that stormwater system goes all the way up to Wilson Street and up, and up Pine Hill. The CAX project is, it's a Sawmill Hill School Street realignment. So it improves that geometry there. It improves pedestrian crossings. It improves, it actually adds two new bicycle lanes. It has, it's, uh, adds new sidewalks and just makes the streets safer and better for circulation. Another project we have, what we have grant funding for, is our infrastructure adaptation project, which is Outfall 7. And that is a $1.4 million uh, project to reconstruct some roads and direct stormwater to a treatment bay, which then out falls into the Salmon Falls River. So again, that's another project that will set us up, set us up for well into the future. And uh, just again, with the theme, it's integrating projects. So this Outfall 7 project integrates with Great Falls Park. Some of the Outfall 7 includes some landscaping to control erosion. So some of the park elements will be built. Like another example is like the sidewalk is part of the curbing, which is part of the stormwater system. So we're gonna have um, a good start on Great Falls Park that will be built out as project, part of the Outfall 7 project. Again, um, the Dig a Hole Once pro projects, we've identified 15, including uh, a sidewalk up to the library um, and a sidewalk up all the way up to Pine Hill, and then um, a sidewalk up Sawmill Hill to Allen Street, and then the downtown projects. So overall, the Dig a Hole Once projects, we have a good start with a $3.1 million grant from the earmark we already received. We have a million and a half dollar grant for the CAX project. We have a million uh, 400,000 for the infrastructure adaptation project. We also have additional funding sources. We have the TIF, which right now we have roughly $41,000 in that account. And that revenue will grow over time and significantly over time as the downtown develops. We have infrastructure impact fees, which we recently changed the fee schedule for impact fees. This will be paid by multifamily developments. We have CAX match. We have 72,500 already in the uh, reserve and we're requesting an additional 100,000 to be able to match that $1.5 million CAX grant. That leaves about seven and a half million dollars more to go for future grants. There is a lot, of, a lot of funding out there between ARPA and the bipartisan infrastructure bill. And there's more and more programs and opportunities out there. So in terms of next steps, we need to take a look at where we're at in terms of what projects are funded and the project scopes we need to go after for funding. And then for the projects, it's we have a bid package we're gonna send out to contractors and complete that drainage project in 2023. We're gonna coordinate that drainage project and bring in some in, uh, infrastructure for underground utilities, complete the CAX project in 2024 and have the utilities brought underground or some of the utilities underground by 2024 and then continue to evaluate funding, funding options, and anticipated funds. So that's a brief rundown of, of what we got going on for the Dig a Hole Ones project. Uh, my door is open and feel free to call me or email me if you got any questions. Thank you for your time.